Right, so, you're making avatars and you're looking for more options besides the usual booth and gum road. Well, in that case, there's a huge market of items and clothing made for The Sims. Yes, The Sims, as in the video game. There's a vast market of mods and user-made content, much of which can relatively easily be adapted to more common file types for use in other 3D applications or games. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on converting a Sims package file to a usable item for VR chat and how to apply them to your model. For this tutorial, you will need the following programs. S4PE, S4CAS Tools, Sims 4 Studio, Blender, and the CATS plugin for Blender. Links, as always, in description. So, first off, get your Sims content. These usually come in a package format. A great source to find these for free or very low prices, to me, is Patreon. In this tutorial, I will be using models by Darte77 over on Patreon. Start by opening up S4PE. If the program gives you any update errors, just hit OK. Next, open the package file. You can do this by clicking File, Open, and then selecting your package file. There will be a lot of text and numbers. This is totally normal. The topmost geom line is most likely the one we want. This might slightly differ for your model, but just select the one that is the right one for you. The program might hang just a little bit, but that's expected. To save the geom file, right click on the line we just selected and hit Export to File and save it somewhere safe. And that's all there is to do for S4PE. Next, move over to S4CAS Tools. From there, convert the geome we just created to a more suitable OBJ file. Once again, if the program throws any errors, just hit OK and save accordingly without filling out any of the information. Now head over to the tab called Mesh Tools. Under that, you should find a tab called TS4 slash Others. Go over there. Import the previously generated geome file by hitting select and selecting the file we just created. Click on convert to obj and save your new obj somewhere safe. Finally, open up Sims 4 Studio and once again just hit ok, save and close on all the dialog that appears. We're going to go ahead and extract the needed texture files for our item. Click on my projects and select the original package file we started with way in the beginning. Now you should see the item in a nice 3D view. Over here you can browse through the available textures and see what you like, or just export them all. For use in Unity and the likes, export a diffuse and normal texture. Save these in a safe location for later. You might notice it is also possible to export the item as a mesh in Sims 4 Studio. However, from both my own and other forum users' experience, doing it this way gives considerably worse results in terms of model structure and topology. And that's it for retrieving a usable 3D model from your package file. The rest of this tutorial will focus on applying this model to your VRChat avatar using Blender. Alright, so open up your Blender. I'm personally using Blender 3.0 as of recording and install the CATS plugin if you haven't done so already. Start with a clean slate and just clear everything in the scene. Fold out the CATS menu bar from the side with a little pull tab and import your OBJ file. You can do this by going to File, Import, Wavefront, OBJ. Let's also quickly apply a texture to make it stand out just a bit more. Select your model and go to the Materials tab. At the bottom, select Texture and import the PNG we exported earlier. and then set your specular color to black. There, much better. A model like this might already have hands or other features which might be undesirable. To solve this, go into edit mode by selecting the model and hitting tab on your keyboard. Click on one of the vertices of the undesirable part and hit control L. Then just hit X and select vertices. Now using CATS, import your main model, if you hadn't done so already. Now move around and scale your item as needed. Take your time for this step because fitment is everything. Make sure things like arms are fully inserted inside of the model. Turning on X-ray mode might help you a lot in this scenario. If your avatar has a different pose, you can go into either edit mode or pose mode and fix your pose to match the item. 
I prefer to use pose mode. Don't forget to hit apply as wrist pose in cats when done. If there are still some tiny spots and imperfections, use the sculpt tool with the draw brush to work these out. To do this, select the item, go into sculpt mode and work these issues out carefully with tiny strokes. Now apply the hoodie to your model. As you can see right now, the hoodie is not attached to the body just yet. To do this, we first have to parent the hoodie to the armature. Do this by dragging the hoodie object onto the armature whilst holding shift. Make sure the item is not linked to any shape keys or vertex groups. Remove them if there are any. Now go to the modifier tab and add the modifier data transfer. Use the dropper icon to select your avatar's body. Now select vertex data and vertex groups. Finally, click on generate data layers and apply your modifier. As you can see, everything's correct, but your item is still not attached. To do this, click on fix model in the cats menu. You might want to leave join meshes unticked for now. And there you go, the hoodie is now applied. There might still be some imperfections though. For this, you can smooth out the weight painting to your liking. Click on the armature and then shift click on your item. Now enter weight painting mode. Use control and click on any of the bones to see their weight and the effects it has on the hoodie. And just paint everything to your desire. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You can now choose to export your model or keep working on it. I hope this tutorial was of help to you and that you now have a vast world of extra options available to you. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.